Hello my friends, thanks for stopping by. I hope you're all having a great day. Today's video is going to be about a couple of things. My hair is in rollers because my next video is going to be on the Kerastase product that I talked about in my favorites. So I'm doing that video. Um, I have a couple of things for you. So let's get started first. Merle Norman actually sent me, this is why I have no lipstick on right now. Merle Norman sent me their uh, summer collection and I'm just going to tell you a little bit about it. It is to celebrate their 85th anniversary. I can honestly tell you that when I was young I wore Merle, Merle Norman all the time and the they were all over the place. Now I did do some research. We have one single standing store of Merle Norman left in my area. So now I'm going to have to go and visit them because so many people have told me that the, the uh, formula of their lipsticks is incredible. And I remember when I was wearing their foundation many, many moons ago, I loved it. It was one of my most favorite foundations, that and the Max Factor Stick Foundation. But I think that was something, it had something to do with my mother because that's what she wore when I was a little girl. Anyway, the 85th anniversary of being in business, Merle Norman has come out with their red, white, and U color collection. It will be available in all stores. I have to check to see if Merle Norman is online, but I imagine that it is. Uh, it will be available July 4th. So what I thought I would do, they sent me a couple of products. They did send me a blue mascara, which I'm not going to try today because uh, I did my makeup look around the lipsticks, which are more on the pink tone, but they did come out with a beautiful blue, and I'm going to try this. I'm going to do it with a, um, maybe a blue brown look. They did come out with a beautiful blue mascara, and it does come on a very nice large spoolie brush. So if you have small eyes, you might have a problem navigating this. But I will tell you what these are nice for. Instead of just doing a full lash of blue mascara, it's nice to tip the lashes um, with blue mascara or any color mascara. So I'm anxious to try this, but they did, this is part of the collection. And the next thing they sent, and I thought this is really cute, it is a scarf in the design of our American flag, which would be very nice to be able to wrap around your neck. Although with menopause, I am not about wrapping anything around my neck right now. You could also do a cute bun in your hair and wrap this around, or you know, you could, if you have long hair like me, excuse me, the nose is dripping, allergy season, you know. Uh, if you have long hair like me, you could always use this as kind of like a wrap bandana type, or you could simply wear it with a, like I have a white um, tank on with a white lightweight sweater, uh, just let it drape down. So it's really cute for the 4th of July, of course. You know, you're not gonna wear this at Christmas time, but 4th of July, I think this is really cute. It is very lightweight, so I may be able to sneak it in there. Okay, so the next thing uh, I'm gonna do is I'm actually, well, let me show you. They came out with a lip gloss, and it's a lip polish. Let me get to my you know what. Uh, it is a lip polish, uh, and it is in the color All Star. It is just a very sheer white lip gloss, and I am going to perhaps put that in the center of my lips with one of the looks. It actually has that iridescence to it, so right now on my hand it's turning very pink blue. Uh, now, keep in mind during this video that these lipstick colors aren't necessarily the best colors for me. It's just part of their collection and it's what they sent me. But um, we're going after the color itself and the formula and just to introduce you to some new products. So with that gloss, it did pull a little bit of pink blue on me, which would not be the most flattering color on me in my skin tone, but it doesn't mean that you can't wear it, all right? So the next thing they sent is a, um, what they do with it, I just had it, okay, here. The next thing I have is a liquid shimmer. Because it is a very neutral shade. I will give you a very good swatch in a side-by-side. -side. It lends itself to a beautiful peachy gold. 
So what I'm going to do is just touch a little bit of that on my cheek area and we're going to demonstrate all three lipsticks. They sent me three of them with the collection so I'm going to do that. And let me see if there is a color on the liquid shimmer. It's called Guiding Light as in soap opera Guiding Light. All right so I'm just we'll do that first. I'm just going to put a little dot of this on my hand. I am I have to turn my fan on my friends. Forgive me. Okay. I have it on now. Whew. I know you're going to hear a slight hum, but it's better than me melting everything off. All right, I'm going to take my beauty blender for this, and I just put a little dot of it on my hand. I'm just going to touch some of this on the tip of the beauty blender, and I'm going to go ahead and just highlight on the cheek area here, and then I'll turn around, and I want to buff it down because it is a little bit of shimmer. And I, remember, I'm putting it over my powder, but I wanted to demonstrate it to you. Okay. And we're just going to tap it out, and we have a, light, a beautiful little shimmer there. You can see from this cheek to that cheek. And I'll do the other side. Just put a little bit of it on. I did use an hourglass blush bronzer today, and you know I, how I feel about that. When I'm wearing the hourglass, I don't necessarily like to wear a whole lot of shimmer. But you can see this is very beautiful. Now I will say, because I'm going to be very honest with anything that is sent to me, if you are someone who has a lot of lines on your face, this may not be good for you because it does have a little bit more shimmer than some of the other products that I use, okay? But if you have nothing or if you're somebody that doesn't even really worry about that, you just wear what you like, uh, it's a very beautiful tone. It does carry a lot of goldy yellow to it. So again, the fair skin girls, it may work for you, but you really have to play with it, okay? All right, so the next thing are three lipsticks. And I'm most excited to try these because I hear from so many different people that these lipsticks, the formulas are just wonderful. So we have three colors here. One is called California Girl, and I'm going to try them all on for you. It's a very, very nice pink. And then we have one that leans more towards the burgundy, I'm going to say brick, brick color. And this is called Cardinal. I'm going to try them all on so you will see them clearly. And then the next one is Cheerleader. And I'll try this one on first because this is going to look the least... This is not going to look good on me, my friends, but we're going to go ahead and try it. So we'll do Cheerleader first, and I'm going to use a very neutral liner with it, and I've chosen Gucci's Soft Cameo, and I'm just going to go ahead and just lightly line my lips. You know, I'm having a brain fart here, okay? All right, so I've lightly lined my lips, and this is just to give me some definition. I don't want to take away from the color of the lipsticks at all. So let's go ahead. And I'm really excited to try these. I've never, I haven't tried a Merle Norman, like I said, in whew, umpteen million years. I'm really aging myself here. Okay, so this is, again, this is, um, what one was this, cheerleader? Yes. All right, so this is definitely the bluest of the pinks. The formula of the lipstick is very nice, very creamy. Very creamy. Mm. Okay, so this is Cheerleader. Let me zoom in. Okay, so I've zoomed in so you can really see the Cheerleader. Now I'll tell you what will happen with this lipstick throughout the day or within an hour. It will turn so blue on me because it has so much blue. And that's because of the acidity in my skin and that my lips are already blue. But I will say this is a very pretty color. And I know many of you are going to love this one. So that is Cheerleader. So the next one we are going to try is California Girl, and I have just lightly buffed over my lips to take some of the blueness out of them. A little bit of powder to help set. I'm not going to bother lining it. Well, yes, I will line it. We want to be fair. Um, now, this liner is definitely just a neutral pink. You could use something uh, that has a little more pink to it. And so I don't run all over my mouth with it, you know, because I'm not as steady as I used to be. <laughs> so that's just the Gucci Soft Cameo. And now we are going in with California Girl. 
And this is definitely a brighter fuchsia type lipstick. It's beautiful color, absolutely gorgeous. You know, just because I can't wear these blue pinks, it doesn't mean that I don't think they're gorgeous. They are. And I will say, so far, this, <coughs> excuse me, the formula is very beautiful. Mm. Very, very, very nice lipsticks. Um, great color payoff. Really creamy. Mm. They go on beautiful. Mm, yeah, that's a beauty. Mm, this is gorgeous. I'm going to zoom in. Okay. Oh, I like this one. I even like it on me. This is gorgeous. Look at the, the sheen the, and the creaminess of this lipstick. I can see it in the viewfinder, and it really makes my teeth look nice and white. Mm, I like this. Mm, this is really, really a beautiful color. That's California Girl. Mm, good one. Look at that. Very kissable, too. And this is, again, the soft cameo, but I definitely would probably use a different liner with this one. Um, this one is Cardinal, and it is the most, it is the strongest in color, but you know, I am not afraid of color. So let's go ahead and put this on. I, this one, if this stays true, if this doesn't pull real blue, this is going to end up a regular of mine in the fall because, oh my God, I love a good brick. All right, so let's put it on. Ah, uh, beautiful. This is definitely more of a mauve brick, though. There is the Cardinal. It is so gorgeous. It is beautiful. I mean, I know I keep saying creamy, but these are really, really nice. Let me back up. Very nice. Now, I don't know the staying power of them. I am actually going to wear one of them throughout the day. Um, but like I said, so many of uh, so many people have told me that the lipsticks are really, really beautiful. So I am definitely going to go to my Merle Norman store and look to see what they have in the peachy family. You know, I love the peaches, but um, mm, very, very, very nice. So again, great lipstick colors. I think the two pinks are probably going to appeal to many of you because I know a lot of you are pink girls. And again, if, if I had applied this perhaps before I put my powder on, I may have been able to work with this better. So uh, it did give just a beautiful glow. And let me look now. Yeah, it has settled down. It really has. It's, it's, it's got a beautiful glow. It does have a tiny, tiny bit of sparkles in it, which you know I kind of stay away from. But um, just to put a small dab for the 4th of July or a holiday is okay. Oh, I didn't even do the lip balm, uh, the lip gloss. I'm going to tell you, I'll put a little dab in the center of this so you can see, but this is not going to work for me because of the blueness in it. So I'll just tap that on. It's just a very, I don't want to mess up the color of it with this dark. And I would only put it in the center of my lip. But don't worry, I'm going to do close-ups of everything for you, okay? So thank you, Merle Norman, for thinking of me. I really, really enjoyed sharing this with my subscribers. And uh, anytime you want to share something with us, you just go right ahead. And uh, for all my subscribers that are using Merle Norman, please put your comment, Merle Norman, please put your comments below for us. We love reading. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget, subscribe. We're anti-aging here. Be happy, healthy, beautiful, and most of all, my friends, lovable. I love you all. Be Zeus.